Hey Moses, this is Dave. I'm shooting the video of the unit we talked about. This is the 2017 Chevy Express conversion van by Explorer Van Company. This is a seven passenger high top with uh, 20,959 miles on it right now. Still under factory powertrain warranty. I uh, wanted to initially shoot this video and let you know it doesn't smell funny or anything inside. It smells exactly as you would think it should. It smells like leather. It doesn't appear, it doesn't smell like it's ever been smoked in, at least not on a regular basis or transported pets. So get that checked off the box right now. Um, I'm going to take it back where I'm going to shoot the video for you. Where they sit normally is right up on the highway and it's too noisy to get any audio uh, to pick up. So having said that, I've just got done driving on about a seven mile test drive. Drives like it should. Uh, as expected for a 20,000 mile vehicle, it's nice and tight, uh, still feels very tight and new. At any rate, very pretty paint combination on this van. The uh, gray to silver fade is one of my favorites, if not my favorite. Uh, hopefully, it uh, might be yours as well. Uh, steering wheel, we have your telephone controls here, your uh, cruise control. The uh, wheel is uh, adjustable, obviously. You do have your uh, trip computer here, your uh, headlights are at your auto here. Windows, door locks, mirrors, all that's power, of course. Uh, Verbal dash looks very nice, uh, not all scarred up. There's no damage. If there's any damage I notice, I'll point that out to you, okay? Tow haul mode here, your manual shift mode if you need it, uh, as well as an aftermarket brake controller. Looks like the previous owner installed on, into it uh, if you're going to haul a trailer at all. 12 volt power, uh, traction control can be turned on or off. Your OnStar is here. Sorry, there's your airbag on or off. This is your. Um, on off switch for the power step board running boards you can turn them off or disable them the 110 volt power usb uh, functionality 12 volt power does have your factory touch screen with navigation head unit here your center console with cooler and your storage on the sides the center console is quick release does come out if you need it to all both front seats are power six way there's your incline and your recline there's your up down front and back and your joystick total control the passenger's the same way. There's your lumbar and your heat. Uh, the leather looks good. Looks just like it's supposed to. No rips, tears, or punctures. Pretty much your wear. The only wear I see are this, the uh, creasing in the side bolster here. Here's your power running board, which are about oh, seven or so inches off the ground. Very nice and low. Shut the door, they automatically retract. Okay. Appearance-wise, one of my favorite paint combinations. This van is nice. Uh, I love the gray to silver fade. It's just classy looking. Nice 20 inch wheels on it. Um, the tires are brown, man. Uh, the little tire shine could go a long way. I'll make sure they hit that before if you decide to buy this. That's one of my pet peeves are brown tires. I don't know why the, they let them get like that. But at any rate, uh, nice looking van. I don't see any body damage. There's a couple spots I do want to point out to you. The very minor, minor things that I do see. It does have a small amount of road rash on it, you know, uh, from the road debris and so forth, but I don't see anything major or any damage. A uh, little bit of wear on the Chevy sign. I do have a small ding right here, if you can see it. Uh, mine has one on there like a broom handle hit it. That's what you have there. Other than that, it's in great shape. I don't see any dings, dents, scratches, uh, scrapes down the side of it. Just a nice, nice looking van. And you have your side turn signals as well. I uh, don't see any issues with the running boards, anything like that. We have a small Looks like a dink there. And then the one that was touched up right there. Other than that, man, the body on this thing is sweet. The wheels are nice. Uh, they're lifting a little bit of clear on the center cap mostly, or right around the center cap area. Uh, overall, very nice looking van. The uh, rear bumper looks like it was touched by something at some point. I do have some creasing in the paint there and a little bit of nicks from loading and unloading stuff I'm assuming and there's your hitch with your four uh, seven pin connector Kodiak class 3 hitch other than that paint looks really nice on this van I'm all taken care of looks to be like it may have been stored inside I'll show you the power bed operation the nice thing about the GM vans is the doors open up all the way in the back of course you have the blinds and all the windows They're in really good shape. Nothing funky going on back here. You got your jack, you got your vacuum and your vacuum power. Uh, got your mats, carpet looks to be in good shape. Rear air conditioning, uh, gonna be your uh, compressor. And there's a full size spare underneath it. Okay, the bed works from these controls here. We're gonna go up, we're gonna go down. And 
you see that third section up here, which makes the bed longer than most other conversion companies when they do the fold down bed. So, a lot more comfortable than what you'd think. You get those seat belts out of the way. Right back up. Of course, look back here, the windows have the mood lighting on, and you can see the blinds and all the uh, sunroof and all the light coming to the front. Top. This is a very nice van. And again, it's looking a lot nicer for people since we uh, just don't know about the new ones. And so that's our used inventory is getting gone here real quick as well. I'll show you the uh, power running board on this side. And it's a nice, easy step up. It's not even as, hot, as tall as a step in your house to get up in here. Uh, so that's definitely the way to go as far as access issues. These seats, this is your swivel, release that. The seat will swivel 360 degrees around, and then this is your quick release mechanism here. Pull that forward, and the seat comes right off of the uh, off of the pedestal there. And you unlatch it up to here at the top, completely out, and then it goes right back in. I can do it with one hand. It's rough. There. All right. There. All right. Inside center console. It's going to be Blu-ray player, storage, storage, Blu-ray player, rear heat and air controls, 110 volt, 12 volt, HDMI input, TV speakers on and off, okay, along with your cooler. Also, your overhead console, you have rear heat and air controls. There's your switch bank, which will show you your lower ceiling cabinet and your driving lights. And again, these seats, again, are swivel. They adjust front and back. They swivel 360, and they are removable, as well as recline and incline. You all have the armrest. Okay. Uh, here's some storage for your headphones, wireless headphones for your entertainment system. Go in here. Lighted cup holders. Your dimmer switch for your mood lighting. Of course, you have your mood lighting, which you can see. Just there's purple lights under here, which turn on and off, and then those lights as well by the upper Vista Bay windows. There's a 32-inch big screen TV. Overhead lighting console. Over here, sunroof. And then there's the rear uh, surround sound speakers and rear heat and air conditioning vents on the top. Windows have all the all the blinds on every every all blind, blinds on every window. I can't speak today. And then there is your power sofa bed. No rips, tears, punctures, and then two USB charging ports on each side for your convenience. This is a glove box back here, and with uh, two brand new wireless, or actually four. Brand new wireless headphones that looks like they've never been on anybody. And of course your power sunroof controls are here. And there is a sunshade as well. Alright, I think I've got it all shown to you. Nice, nice van. Uh, no surprises here. It is used, a couple little things, but uh, you know where we're at with that. So let me know your thoughts, Moses. I appreciate it. If there's anything else that you want me to get something closer up on. Uh, I'll be more than willing to do that. With 20,000 miles, I'm not going to look at real close to the uh, mechanics because they are, like I said, still under factory warranty with all this. So, I mean, anything, your, your step bumper here, you need to clean it up there. Everything should be handled uh, across the nation. Give me a quick view of under the hood. No surprises, nice and clean. way back in there but it's all engine I didn't see anything that uh, surprises me so I'll get this video uploaded and over to you give me your thoughts on it uh, if you wanted to make it yours what we do next is get a $500 deposit from a credit card so that no one else can buy it in the meantime while we're working on paperwork and the rest of the details out let me know if you want to do that thanks Moses so we'll talk soon